planning and problem solving, words that are not immediately associated with art. But sculptures like this just didn't happen overnight. There's a lot of creativity and teamwork that goes into it. In order to get a grasp of the full process, we traveled to MGA Sculpture Studio in St. Pete. Commissioned by the West Shore Alliance in the city of Tampa, Catherine Woods was tasked with creating a gateway to the West Shore neighborhood. By meeting with key members of the neighborhood, Catherine was able to reflect the true vibe of the area in her art. With West Shore, after talking to the stakeholders, it became apparent that it's a, it's kind of a, it's a destination. If you stand on the corner where the artwork is, I mean, traffic just zooms by there nonstop. People are going to restaurants or they're going shopping, they're coming from the airport. So there's a, just a lot of activity in the area and I wanted to design a piece that reflected that. Incorporating her signature glass aesthetic with images she photographed from the neighborhood, Catherine developed Kinetic Ring. She then took that concept to her fabrication team. I go to my engineer and it's like, before I show it to my, the client, I, I go to him and say, can this be built? Because that's important to know. I go, yeah, that, sure it can be. So I'll sell it and I'll come back. He goes, well, it can be built, but not exactly like that, which I love. And he's, I'm like, well, he goes, what you need to do is this. I'm like, eh, I don't like the way that looks. How about this? And he's like, well, it won't stand up then. How about this? And we go back and forth. So we're looking at the model that we sold to the client. Yeah, and you know, it's interesting that we started out with this yoke mm -hmm. idea as sort of a frame for the glass and the glass being the most important thing. Right. This back and forth process takes a great deal of teamwork and problem solving. Mark Ailing, owner of MGA Sculpture Studio, is Catherine's partner on Kinetic Ring. I am a sculptor first and foremost, so I love uh, dimensional object making and oftentimes people will ask me when they find out I'm a sculptor what my medium of choice is and I generally respond whatever it is that solves the problem most effectively. And true problem solving was needed for this project. Catherine and Mark went through eight redesigns in order for the sculpture to be structurally sound while maintaining Catherine's original vision. If you look at the original model that I showed for Kinetic Ring and what it turned into, it changed quite a bit for engineering reasons. The, the feeling of the piece, the idea and concept behind the piece stayed the same. It was just the structure changed a little bit and I actually think it got better. Bonnie Lowe, who works next door to the sculpture, enjoys it every day. The vendors arrived in the morning and they started the installation and throughout the day they were extremely busy, especially the electricians with the lighting. When I left to go home at 4.30 at night, there was only the framework installed and when I came in to work the next morning the glasswork had been installed and it was just beautiful. I think definitely something like this enhances the West Shore District. A balance of science, engineering, creativity and craftsmanship were applied to reach the final frame of Kinetic Ring. Believe it or not, most of the work on the structure was done by hand. Now visitors and residents have a beautiful sculpture welcoming them to the West Shore District. What I love about public art is the collaboration with a lot of different um, disciplines. I love working with engineers and architects. I love working with the water jet guys and working with Mark on the metal and working with Germany on the glass because art can be a pretty solitary pursuit. So getting out and being able to work with the village, so to speak, is it's kind of nice. It's egalitarian public art. I mean, it's out there for everybody in it to enjoy and I quite like that. For that art show, this is Melissa LeBaron.